Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I'm still recording in the car and it's storming out so I don't have to have the car running so it's hopefully a little quieter. Very well. Uh, but apparently I just saw some dialogue there's like a picnic going on over here. I don't know. I'm exploring. What go? What, what go? What do? What? In the, in the woods? Oh. Or in the weeds, rather, not the woods. When I tell you my setup is scuffed, guys, like, it's, it's wild. My arm is, like, torqued up. Silver goblet. Purple worm toxin. Oil of bane. Elixir of fire resistance. Is this somebody's treasure? I feel like I, I inadvertently found someone's treasure. This sir, I'm gonna have to go to the circus at some point, but I'm actually freaked, especially if it's a, uh, especially if it's a Fay circus. Dead chicken. Is there? Is there any? Any secrets? Something seems to be kind of glowing here. Yeah, I don't know if it's just just Gale. Is it just Gale, maybe? I don't know what's up with that. I'm gonna let me talk to Gale real quick. What's on your mind? Are his hands behind his back? That's adorable. Okay, never mind. Wasn't sure if he'd have something to say. Oh, hey. A book, Reflections of a Gullible Prick. Oh, I think that's actually a bad word. Like a bad word. But it does not sound like that in American English. The stained tome records a long and arduous journey. I hoofed it to Baldur's Gate based on a God's damn promise. They'll welcome you with open arms, my cousin said. Everyone has a home in the gate. Seventeen days I marched. Seventeen days of their whining toddlers in their piss reek. Seventeen days of howling wolves huddling around sickly fires. And still that stench. Of course they didn't let us through the gate, the new city when we showed up. Shoved us into a camp teeming with snivelers and sneerers. Had it with them, their sob stories, the entire gall of their presence. If I've got to be stuck outside the city, I'll make home in a chicken coop. Smells better than those shit-stained whoops, called by cousins at least. Oh my goodness. The rest of the text continues in a similarly aggrieved fashion. So maybe a noble person of some sort? And... So the guy actually did hole up in a chicken coop. I mean, who's, no traps, what does that prove to anybody, you know? A hand drum and a ball. I was kind of... I guess he's using it for storage and he killed the chicken and didn't eat it? What an idiot. I hear dogs barking. Is this the slums or... I don't know, I'm gonna go down here. It's down, it's down this way. Unless this is where I've been. <gasps> this is where I've been! Okay, this is what looks like the refugee camp, but it's not. Okay. There's the cave I came out of. Okay, it's always good to pay attention to your... the edges of things. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else is this way. I wish to be appraised of all things. Oh, are these refugees? What? And it what? Grr! Those are the wandering people. A pyre? Is somebody... Somebody get killed? Every last oh. Oh. 
will have to act for all our sakes. Once again, I have to switch somebody out. Maybe I'll switch out Halston. I'll just have a bunch of weenie baby boys. I'm telling you, man. The girlies in this game are way tougher than the boys are. <laughs> I want to bring Gail and Will because they both, I think, have uh, something, uh, something to do with the city, kind of. You know, like they have an investment in the city. And Halston, I'm just trying to keep around because his druid powers are sick and also he's fun. Um, but gosh dang it, I'm just gonna have to have a bunch of baby boys instead. Yes? Meh. Nah. Are you worried about Cazador finding out your back? I think we've done this, but I'm not sure. I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. It sounds risky. It's something of a gamble, true, but if I can win, if I can beat him, it would be worth any risk. I mean, maybe so I yes, could... I do worry about facing him. But if we can get his attention, finding the ritual's location will be much easier, and that could give me the edge I need. What if I just give him the astral touch tab? We both know what it is capable of. Oh! But I'm not touching it. Oh. That is unlike you to be so unwilling to receive a new power. That was before I knew the cost. Before I knew it meant transforming into some grotesque beast. I thought we didn't transform. I remember how it hurt when I turned into a vampire. My body writhed and warped while I was utterly helpless. The grip of death owned my heart as it beat its last. Wow. I don't want to turn into anything else. I can't do that again. I can't watch my body be taken over. That's very fair. He's very much into like bodily, like his, his bodily autonomy, right? Which, <laughs> boy, same. Um, but, uh, and that's been threatened before, many times, with Cazador and with being turned into a vampire and everything. But I thought the whole thing with the astral tadpole was that it wasn't going to transform us. Uh, alright, I will speak no more on the matter. I had nothing for so Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Not even my own body. I will not give it up. Now it's mine again. Well, that puts kaputs on that plan. Gosh, freaking dang it. Ah, oh, well. Need something? Well, obviously yeah, I would. Yeah. So I but just you want... have so many followers already. I, uh... Well, in that case... I want Asterian for this conversation because they don't seem to recognize him if that other guy is indicative. Um, or, I mean, because he didn't actually do it. He's just being blamed for it. Um, but, uh... I want him to hear what's going on, so he's not gonna get mad at me for being like, "What? Why wasn't I there?" or something. I haven't long rested in ages, but I haven't really done anything that I need long resting for. We haven't fight. We haven't not been fighting a lot. We have been wandering the town, stalling, going into Baldur's Gate. What? Ah, see, this is how I maybe would have heard it. Heard about the windmill if I'd walked past these guys. Oh, the sneaky. You seem like the leader. Yeah, thank you for the autosave before I totally mess this up. A 
My friend from the Hag Swamp. You join us as we honor our fallen dead. You're a bright light on a dark. I day. thought he was dead. Even you, my erstwhile quarry. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Hello I, again. I thought he was dead. <laughs> Frey, thou disc do of I thought he was dead. I wouldn't have brought a stereo. Frey, thou disc a blast. I feel we're intruding. We should leave quickly. <laughs> Calm yourself. You will not be harmed. <laughs> Our leader has called off the hunt. She wishes to speak to you. Here we are, you should leave quickly. So, the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. Interesting. If you want to throw him on that fire, I fully support that. Well, we, if I really spoke like that, which you can talk about Asterian like that all the time, I think he'd just leave. Although, to be fair, he can't because I have the... Uh, that's really... That's a very unfair advantage I have. I have the astral cube thing. Prism. And so it keeps us from turning into mind flares. Ugh. Ugh. If you went that route, that would be highly abusive and manipulative, just like Cazador. Ooh, that makes me it's a good thing I'm a paladin who is a flexible paladin and doesn't mind vampire spawn even if we don't get along uh, what do you want with Asterion the last time your friend came to our camp he stole our children our future when I was hunting you I was to bring you back here interrogate you discover how to save our children and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Oh yeah? Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that bonds you to him? I uh, well, I, I mean, uh, <laughs> kind of. It's a long story, Kind honestly. of. <laughs> His gestures are the best in the whole game. Nobody else has as much. Truly, the, the actor who played him deserves every award he got because uh, nobody else, I think, and they're all great, but nobody else comes close to his level, I think, just in all his mannerisms. Uh, Asterion's free now. Free? Not while his master still lives. But he has, perhaps, earned a second chance. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, oh. someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. Interesting. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. Um. You don't know Kazador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? But I promise you, they're already dead. Oh, oh, Ruff! Oh, Ruff! How can you be sure, Astarian? I spent two hundred years bringing him victims! Each and every one was whisked away to be fed on that night. But you never saw him feed yourself. He could keep prisoners for days before killing them. I know our plight is grim, but if there is even a chance to save them, we must take it. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. Interesting, but I don't think Asterion was actually the one who did it, is the thing. Like, it's just Kazador lying, unless Asterion lied to me. Uh, I don't know which one of these two... He doesn't owe them anything, I think. If Asterion won't help you, I will. I mean, that's like... That's kind of how, like, Asterion doesn't have to help. 
But it would be easier if he helped. Uh, okay, I am gonna quick save on this one because simply because I can't be losing more approval with Asterion than I already have. I think it's already a lost cause, but we'll try. If Asterion won't help you, then I will. God damn it. Fine. If nothing else, at least killing Kazador will feel good. Thank you. From me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You have lived a life of violence and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. He's not trying to right the wrongs. If you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. A whole group of children. Uh, um, I wonder why he and he stole from these people in particular. I feel like it's a trap. Like I feel like he's luring us or others in. You know what I mean? All right, bud. What's up? Need something? Well, I was just gonna see what you had to say about the shenanigans. I did not expect that guy to still be alive. I thought he had gone to go trade his soul or whatever. The hunter. Uh, the Gur hunter. Gandrok. Uh, also, Asterion was hilarious. He's so funny. Investigate Cazador's palace. She's cool, by the way. I want to be her when I grow up. Oma. To save the children. I don't know, man. That's going to be gruesome. I know it is. There's going to be dead kids in there, and I don't want to do that. She recognizes Asterion as the one who sold the children for Cazador. I swear he said that, he, that Asterion did not do it, that Cazador was like spreading lies uh, to get Asterion caught. Because I think he was busy with other things. Ah, uh, the Chosen of Shard. <laughs> Oopsie. What will we do? Anything. There are so few of us left. Our strength was never. Whoa. Do not stand here oh, and wait. Oh, okay. Cazador must be destroyed. You, do you want me to do this? Am I under a time limit here? I, I can't explore the Gur camp, the apparently. Uh, also, the children have been gone for a long time. I, I'm pretty sure it's been like months. You know? Come on. Hmm. What's that? Like, I'm not really sure how time is working. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's been a long freaking time. So even if those kids hadn't been killed instantly, I think they would be dead by now. If one get is fed and watered. Uh oh, so they're bringing in supplies? Hmm. Slarmy, what a name. If you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was odd, stuff in their pockets. Bloody animals. They're t they're hungry. People are hungry. Look at that. Finest pie that fruit could have made. Now it's mud. We got here first, friend. You're welcome to whatever scraps we leave behind. I mean, I I am so much bigger than Take you. Take the wood from the cart too. That'll be good for a fire, if nothing else. More dead chicken? Is this like a trail of dead chickens? They just had the sense to move quicker than us. Is there something to these dead chickens? Like some somebody's running around killing chickens. Is this uh, refugees? Refugee camp? Because this is the big thing I need to do. Besides Cazador and Asterian stuff, blah blah blah. I need to get the explosive toys figured out. 
shelter. Are these my people? Oh my gosh, they are. Alfira. Even if we only have tankers of river water to raise, we'll drink to their memory. Wait, what? They're missing. There's some children missing in Al. Where's Alfira? What is going on? I. You got me signed up to learn to make pops, which is dumb. I'd rather learn how to kill cultists. And I bet you'd back me up on that. Absolutely not. Also, why were you standing like that? Oh, Ceres is here. Alfira went into town, though. Probably to try to get help. I'm really worried about Umi. I knew it. I knew you were missing one of them. Hey, remember in Moonrise? What a sad situation. The once proud tieflings of Elturel. Reduced to beggars. I mean, it's been like that for a while at this point. So many more could have survived if we... If I had done the right things, don't take that on yourself. You know who's really responsible. You did what you could, so I'm sure. Oh, so if I had maybe sent the guy back, not that I had the choice because I my game glitched out, but if I had sent the elder tiefling with them, maybe more of them would have survived. So, you survived. That's more than many of my kin can say. Yeah, well, I'm a trained warrior. You guys aren't. How are you guys holding up? It's mainly anger that keeps me going. Zevlor was supposed to lead us, but he froze when we needed him most. I, I haven't seen him since the massacre on the road, which is lucky for him. These were the ones who wanted to start a we fun life. We made it through hell, twice. I know now that as long as Danis and I stick together, we can do anything. Oh, they're doomed. They're doomed. We made it alive to Baldur's Gate. Almost, anyway. But I, I, I can't complain. When I look at Bex and realize she's safe, it's hard not to weep from joy. Well, that's good. You're all gonna die. It was touch and go. Some close I didn't think he was with them. The cult have claimed every Wait, no, 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 no. But from what you tell me. Okay, he's not a changeling. Hey, remember in Moonrise, when Althera sang us that song? I think of it every day. So they did like it when Alfira. We should have an exile's feast to commemorate those we lost. Supplies are short. But I can scrape enough together for everyone to have a bite of something. Solid. I don't remember who were. I mean, Alfira. We only have I don't know. It was Ceres her friend? I think the other. She had another one that was her friend. Hello? What are you doing? What are you guarding over here, buddy? Thinking of trying to get into this barn? Don't. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? I quite like barns. I was married taking a stroll and having to wander by. Um. Yeah, why not? I quite like barns. I'm gonna be snarky. Not this one, you won't. Now piss off. Again, I am just. It is hilarious to me that people look at me and my squad. And they think they can do anything to us. It's hilarious. Anyway. So could have survived if we... I wonder, why is this guy running around naked? He's running around naked. The right There's probably a way Don't in take that through yourself. a different way. You know who's really responsible. Why is this person naked? In their underwear. Washing my pits, washing my pits. I'm... This is the song when I... I see. Gonna blood not get any bleeding privacy around here. Bunch of perverts, the lot of you. Oh, you're the one taking a shower. 
<laughs> in the middle of everything. You Let's it see. Gives touch and go. Some close calls. The cult have claimed every road between Baldur's Gate and Eltergard. But from what you tell me, I yeah, I don't know if I trust Zoru at this point. He's he's a he's a new, like he's from the beginning, but we thought we lost him or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust him. My son Garen is pleased we got this far together, but his wife's bitching is making me old before my time. Why can't he tell her to put a sock in it? What since when does a mother-in-law not tell some, their daughter-in-law to put a sock in it? Tankers of river water to raise. Actually, got here safely, towing along my wife's sister and mother, or maybe they towed me along, eh? Ah, what a nice guy. God, camping with the mother-in-law has been utter hell. Maybe I should just go on ahead into the city without her. Scouting, like. Okay, yeah, you do that. Good luck. Glad it is one of us. Grunch? What a name. Ah! Whatever you need, I can't help you. Even talking is painful right now. Um. Oh yeah, let me take a look at it. Oh, let me re-roll. Let me re-roll. It should not be hard. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm gonna heal you up. You're gonna have more health than when you started out with. After a quick examination, you conclude <gasps> that your patient is pretending to be wounded. You wonder why. Oh. Really? This isn't necessary. I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. Are you trying to hide? Oh, this is barely a scratch. What's the idea? Shh, not so loud. If those lads find out I'm faking, they might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. And frankly, I'd miss him. I don't really have any other friends. And Aww. I like those lads. So I think I'll stick around a while more. What? Uh, yeah, but what do you... What? <laughs> uh, these lads? They'd go without you, you think? If they knew you were better? Oh, maybe they were trying to heal him. Let's see. They may, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how we're going to get Grunch into the city, wounded as he is. Ron? But we have to. Ron Weasley? We've got to get Grunch into the city, but he's in no shape to travel. I wonder, what if we hit him in a big barrel and nailed it shut? Nah. I mean, as long as there were slats, he could probably breed, but like, that kind of defeats the purpose of hiding. A small child named Billy. Another small child. They're hard to catch, them. Heads will roll for this. This, this transgression. This injustice. Oh, are you the one who's leaving notes and killing chickens? I know, the way they treat refugees around here is terrible. That's not what he's talking about. I don't give a shit about all that. It's how I've been treated, which is the real travesty. Yeah, well, <laughs> she's a like... A <laughs> respectable businessman wants to bring his, well, business into this fine city. And what do they do? Let him continue ranting. They talk some absolute horse bollocks about papers and correct filing procedures and threw me in this slump. I should be loins deep in Charesse's caress. Rolling about in filth. Ew, that's a way to put it. Talking about a brothel like that. Bleh. Oh my god. Oh, I've never heard that phrase and I never want to hear it again. Oh. Uh, anyway, a real businessman would know about procedures and paperwork and stuff, so he's probably not a businessman. Or if he is, they are just making up rules. 
you know? So as you can see a little bit, the recording started to get uh, glitchy because I think I was running out of space again. I have made a lot more space since then, um, and I am now I'm at my sister's place. I've been recording for a bit. Um, but yeah, so this is the last video that is recorded in the car for a while, so that's nice. But uh, yeah, obviously this is the end of the video, so thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my acorn tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron who has gone above and beyond in support of me and the channel, and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.